Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the presentation of Grupa Azotis Group 2015 results. Presenting the results today are Mariusz Bober, President of the Management Board of Grupa Azoty SA, Mr. Andrzej Skolmowski, Vice President of Grupa Azoty SA, Mr. Witold Szczypiński, Vice President of the Management Board of Grupa Azoty SA, Mr. Marian Rybak, President of the Management Board of Grupa Azoty Puławy, Krzysztof Jałosiński, President of the Management Board of Grupa Azoty Police, and Mr. Adam Leszkiewicz, President of the Management Board of Grupa Azoty Kędzierzyn. I would like to welcome to all of you, welcome all of you here, and also welcome to our webca webcast viewers who are joining us live on the internet. Mr. Mariusz Bober will now take over the floor. Welcome again. I am very happy that I have this opportunity to meet you here today. As you are well aware, it is our Today is it is our first meeting, and I hope this will be the first of a series of meetings to come. As far as my experience, my professional experience is concerned, I have experience of work in large capital groups, and my always my intention and my target was to leave any group uh, was to work for any group. Uh, to deliver best results, and the same applies to Grupa Azoty. As far as the added value that I may bring to the group, to the Grupa Azoty group, this value is as follows. I am well experienced in terms of the functioning of large capital groups. I'm experienced in terms of shaping the strategies of large business organizations, also in terms of implementation of their plans. As far as Grupa Azoto is concerned, I believe that my experience, my added value, is in line with what I have experienced after the f in, within the first three weeks with the company. I believe that this group, this company, is in a very good shape. And the processes that have been taken place in this group have improved their situation. Our financial standing and our business standing is very stable and it is a very good starting point for further growth. But I believe that there is a room for further expansion and further growth, especially in terms of consolidation and business integration. I do believe that what has been done before deserves a very good evaluation, but I am I also am well aware that more can be done, and this can be done, this can be achieved by further integration, gradual but consistent transformation of this organization, which is composed of four separate parts, into one single entity using the synergies available and the scale effects. This is what I believe needs to be done within this capital group for the months and years to come. For instance, I believe that there are certain areas, that there are many areas in which such integration and consolidation processes can take place, but I feel that I need to emphasize two such areas in this very first meeting with you. First of all, the purchasing area. As I have mentioned before, this has also been done in this company, uh, especially in terms of raw materials purchasing and procurement, but I believe there is much more room for further integration processes in terms of purchasing and procurement, so that the company, so that the group becomes a major purchases in the Polish market and in, in the international market. The second area that needs to be focused on is the coordination of, of processes within the entire group, especially if we put focus on technologies and technological improvements across the group and innovation. This innovation may apply both to products, existing products in the, product, in the group's portfolio, but also certain growth projects in terms of innovation, which would shape the condition of this company in months and years to come. 
This, in a nutshell, is my introduction to today's presentation. Of course, we will, we can um, discuss uh, certain uh, areas I have mentioned in more detail uh, afterwards. But first of all, we will discuss the results of the entire group. We will discuss the conditions and determinants in today's market reality, which shape the condition and the, and the situation of the group, both today and in the months to come. We will present, in general, the situation in the entire group, and afterwards, the presidents of Mandarin boards of individual group companies will present the results achieved and the performance uh, achieved uh, across the group in their companies. In terms of revenue across the group, the revenue amounted to 10 billion PLN, a bit the stood at 1.3 billion PLN, net profit at 692 million PLN, and the earnings per share at 6.4. All these parameters are record-breaking. We take much pride in it. However, considering the, ter the, the factors that shaped our performance and results in 2015, we need to focus on the fact that we had high sales of both nitrogen and MPK and compound fertilizers, which drives our EBITDA to a large extent. We have observed advantages, price trends in terms of compound fertilizers, taking into account both the, both the selling price of finished goods, but also the prices at which we purchase the feedstocks, the raw materials. Diversification of procurement, including diversification of purchases of our gas, combined with falling prices of energy feedstocks and energy carriers such as ca gas and coal. Despite a negative result at the EBITDA level in the plastics segment, we have achieved a higher spread benzene polyamide spread. Although the situation in this segment, in the plastic segment, continues to be very challenging, we also had benefited from a stronger PLN, uh, USD PLN exchange rate. And last but not least, Azote Pro Operational Excellence Program with the target until the end of 2016, the target was to improve our EBITDA by nearly 300 million PLN. This operational excellence program contributed to a large extent to uh, the improvement of our operational results. As far as key milestones of 2015 are concerned, first of all, we announced a long-term investment program, including 68 separate investment projects. And we also announced our plans related to the implementation of a number of key projects, such as the PDH unit at Polite, the combined heater power plant in Polite, and also gasification of coal. But what is also important, and what is important from the perspective of our integration within the group, which, as Mr. Mariusz Bober has just said, is very important for us, this deepening integration across the group, then one step that leads us towards this goal was the signing, a signing of a, an agreement with four commercial banks and with two financial institutions, the European Investment Bank and the European Bank for Reconstruction and Development. We also achieved and were awarded a number of awards and distinctions, to say the least, uh, the diamonds of the Polish chemical industry, to name just one. But also, we had an award, we were awarded in the We Changed Polish Industry, the Unprecedented Investment Projects competition. And we also need to emphasize something that is not does not it's not in the presentation, but we need to mention it. We were awarded in the Golden Issuers website competition. As we call it, it is a small 
Oscar Prize, Oscar Award in our business area. We were rank, we were ranked uh, 32nd in the ICIS top 40 power players, and also uh, we ranked fifth in the value creation in chemicals 2015. We had representatives uh, and at the IFA and uh, Fertilizers Europe. And since the group is growing and we attract a lot of interest from our investors, we are now part of the FTSE Emerging Markets Index. All these milestones and events were accompanied by growing value of the entire group and the highest capitalization and the highest stock market price in our history. And the Azoto Pro program, which is something that we have been mentioning and we will be mentioning in the future because we are uh, very proud about it. Now, Mr. Witold Szczepiński, the Vice President of the Management Board, will discuss our strategic investments. In 2015, we have launched all the key investment projects which will contribute to the implementation of our plans. We are showing the combined heater power plants and other major investments, but I would like to draw your attention to one specific issue. We are now doing our best and we are finishing, we are in the finishing stages of the process of ensuring compliance with all the, all the uh, environmental standards, especially at Polizia. In 2015, we spent approximately 900 million PLN on our investment projects. What is worth noticing is that we have changed, considerably changed the structure of our investment projects. In practice, mandatory investments are practically non-existent now or they are of minor importance. What we focus on is on development or growth projects. Whereas mandatory investments, replacement projects generate less and less financial outlays that are needed or capex that is needed. On the one hand, we have generated major investment, major savings in terms of purchasing and logistics. This is combined with the situation in the market at large in terms of petrochemicals, gas, and coal market. So we can say that we are more and more effective in terms of purchasing. However, I would like to draw your attention to another issue, the issue of maintenance and repairs. In 2014, we implemented a pilot project for preventive maintenance. Since then, this project has encompassed other group companies, and it is now has been implemented across the group. The available machine time considerably increased considerably. And also our energy consumption has been adjusted, has been adjusted effectively to our needs. This project will be implemented on a continuous basis. It will be broken into three-year periods, and we will continue this project from the next year on. Uh, in 2016, this project, the first phase of this project will, will finish. But this project, Azote Pro Operational Excellence Project, is one of uh, the pillars of our strategy. And we will write to assign such a status and priority to this project. Now, I believe that uh, it might seem something that we are taking too far because we are 
bragging about our good results, but I believe that this is something that needs to be stressed. Let's go back to the uh, question of agreements, si the agreement signed with four commercial bank and two bank institution, institutions, financial institutions. We are very proud and happy that we have negotiated that agreement. It required a lot of work in terms of analysis of our investment needs. We prepared and performed a simulation by 2050, 2020, which includes also CAPEX in subsequent years. We translated this into our business plans, and this was accepted by the financing institutions. I believe, I, I am aware of the fact that we have always emphasized that the group can do better. And I believe that this is one step that we are taking in order to take this group closer to our target, which is integration. As far as Tarnov is concerned, we started the construction of a new mechanical granulation unit. It will be put into operation in the first quarter of 2017. Now the setting of the groundbreaking plaque it might not be something we should take a lot of pride in because you can start any construction. The problem is to complete it successfully. But we are mentioning that we have set the groundbreaking plaque for the new polyamide 6 production plant. Grupa Azoti was also chosen the best investor at the Tardov Investment Forum. And as, men, as we have mentioned, we were received the Golden Website Award in the eighth edition of this program. Mr. Marian Rybak will recap the situation and the events at Grupa Azoty Puave. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that the most important information that we can share with you today is the fact that we signed a long-term agreement for the sale of melamine and urea. As I said, these are long-term agreements with permanent clients, customers, who are mainly fiberboard producers and glue producers. We had new investments put into operation, for instance, a new fertilizer complex. I informed you I, before at our previous meetings that the new liquid fertilizer plant has been put into operation. Right now, we have granulation plants also put in operation, and they're fully operative. So in both liquid and granulate products are very successful and are a strong point of Grupa Azotis portfolio. We are working on the selection of a technology for the new nitric acid production line. I do believe that at the turn of March and April this process will be completed and we will move on to the construction of the new nitric acid line so that we have four lines in operation which can be later on disassembled and upgraded so that they are less energy intensive. As you know, nitric acid is used for in the production of ammonium nitrate, which is a product that has a lot of uh, high sales volumes, so we cannot have any problems with our nitric acid lines. The mechanical granulation product process is also being upgraded. By 2020, the second line will be also fully operative and um, modernized. We are also working on the Puave power plant. 
we will secure the permit to the construction permit for this project in March. Since 2014, we have been focusing on the disposal of our non-core subsidiaries. However, we have only managed to sell one subsidiary, one non-core subsidiary, which was Medica. Unfortunately, none of the other non-core subsidiaries found an interested investor for a number of reasons. At Agrohem, we launched the production of horticultural and gardening fertilizers under the name of WOW. This project includes five kilogram packages of certain fertilizers used for gardening purposes. These products are also very successful among customers other than big agricultural producers or farmers. And last but not least, we published a report entitled Poland as an attractive food producer and food supplier. These are the main events and milestones at Grupa Azotepuawe in 2015. Right now, Mr. Krzysztof Jarosiński will present the major events and milestones at Grupa Azoty Police. I would like to mention, first of all, one of the key events and one of the key issues uh, at Grupa Azoty Police. We will discuss our financial performance later on. However, I would like to mention, first of all, that the fertilizer business is now a driving force behind our company, especially in terms of compound nitrogen fertilizers. If you look back into our history, you would see that this business in general reached a break-even point, but has never been very successful. For instance, back in 2012 or 2013, we did have good results, but these were always offset by some worse periods in terms of our performance. So in general, we did break even, but only that. Taking into consideration our potential, this was a problem for us. But I believe that this problem has been eliminated because for the past two years, our performance in this area is better. We do not base our performance on nitrogen fertilizers only. Today, we can say that we excel and we generate good results also for compo compound fertilizers. And today, we had much better sales in terms of all across all our fertilizers groups, fertilizer groups. It's not only about the sales volume, because you do know that if there is an overflow or oversupply of NPK fertilizers to Poland, it is difficult to maintain a good market standing. But we do manage to maintain good market standing. And this is visible both in terms of the volume and in terms of the value. So we are well able to sell our products. And this translates into our financial results. So the improvement of our efficiency in our plans and also cost efficiency measures translates into those effects, the good performance. And I can say right now that Polizia is a fertilizer company proper right now, because the bulk of our, of our financial performance is derived from the production and sale of uh, fertilizer products. Now, Mr. Adam Leszkiewicz, President of the Management Board of Grupa Azoty Kędzierzyn, I am very happy that Grupa Azoty Kędzierzyn can present its result as well at the Warsaw Stock Exchange. And our financial performance in 2015 proves that 
Grupa Azotic Kędzierzyn is also a major part of this larger organization. As far as the bullet points uh, on the slides are concerned, let me focus on two. First of all, the new coal and heat combined, combined plant. It will be it will be continued in 2016, and we need to focus on this very project. And the second thing I would like to mention is the award that we received for the innovation leader and the innovation of the leader category. We have a very successful product, which was launched, the production of launched, launched in 2015. In general, last year, we generated added value in a number of various areas. We had 263 million in CAPEX, a more than 3% growth versus previous year. We added two liquid fertilizers and a new plasticizer products into the portfolio of products. And we generated 300 million PLN in terms of revenue because of that. The new product I have mentioned strengthened our position in the Polish market because it shows it is a sign that a Polish company can develop and implement and launch, successfully launched to the market, a new product in cooperation with scientific institutions, for instance. 2015 was the year that saw increased production volumes across all product groups in the fertilizer segment. The Azote Pro program delivered a 50% increase in EBITDA, and the plan, let me mention, was much lower. We also improve all the ratios in terms of the turnover of our receivables and payables, and also inventory turnover ratios. And it shows very clearly that the new standards, the Azote Pro Operational um, Excellence Standards, Effect, uh, have, a, have a major effect uh, across the group and also in our company. Thank you very much. Now, as a starting point to our discussion of the market situation and market climate, market environment, both now and our prospects for the months to come, we always show you a map. This map shows you a breakdown of the geographical structure of our sales. As we can see, Poland, in terms of sales, went up. The, the, our results in Poland in terms of sales went up 3%. As far as European is Union is concerned, it generates 33% of our total sales. So it's still the largest market apart from Poland. In Poland, 75% of our sales volumes are fertilizers and 16% are chemicals, whereas plastics account for 2% only. In comparison, in the European Union, fertilizers account for 45% chemicals generate 33% of sales, and plastics account for 21% of our sales. Mr. Witold Szczepiński will discuss the market overview. The trend, overriding trend of 2015 is likely to continue in the next year. In general, ammonium sulfate and ammonium nitrate, their prices have been going down. Also, the prices of grain were very low, and we need to take into consideration the availability of 
payments for farmers. These, all these trends are likely to continue in the year to come. However, we believe that the price trends will go downward. As far as the prices of plastics are concerned, these are correlated with the prices of crude oil. There was a major drop in November and December, and this trend has continued. I believe that the caprolacta caprolactam benzene spread is one of the lowest in our history. The same applies for polyamide caprolactam spread. We keep our fingers crossed to see this segment revived in the second part of the year. And we are looking forward to a major growth. I see a lot of potential in in the extension of our production chain, the delivery chain. As far as oxo alcohols and plasticizers are concerned, we are looking forward to a growth in sales. However, we need to mention that we have a new non phthalate plasticizer. And the line producing this product has achieved full capacity. So I believe that this project product will generate uh, good results in terms of our sales. As far as the prospects at which are set, the target which is set by um, at 6.2 percent, I believe that this amount will be higher for Kenjerov. We. In terms of chemicals, uh, we had good replacement projects. So we are running our lines. So our lines are running with full capacity, at full capacity. As far as melamine is concerned, we believe that our performance will be close to 2015. And the technical grade urea is a major product in our B2B relations with customers. And it's very important that the price of this product is subject to lower variations. What will affect our sales? That is the main question. First of all, the price of gas. Last year, it allowed us to generate good results. Since May, when we introduced our discount, when we introduced the discount policy and certain diversification, our prices have been close to our competitors' prices, uh, prices across the European Union. The expected price for of gas in the summer months is between 12 to 12.5 euro megawatt per megawatt hour. We can assume that the price can go up to 15. There's a separate question of how much can we compensate for this price in terms of the share of end customers in the price of gas. As far as the prices of sulfur or crude oil is concerned, this is of minor importance for us because what we have to focus on are not the prices themselves, but on the spreads. All the major parameters of our financial performance have gone up. Our sales, revenues from sale was higher year on year. The same applies to EBITDA, which is at 1.3 billion PLN, and our net profit is at 692 million PLN. There is one of our colleagues in the front row sitting here today. Uh, he forecast, he expected that uh, this, pro this, this um, result will be as, as such. Many of us doubted that the group will be ever able to achieve such results. But he was right. 
and the year 2015 showed us has shown us that both the integration across the group and also our purchasing procurement policy combined with low prices or of our feedstocks can translate into a major growth of our revenue and profit and as, uh, as far as our 2015 results are concerned. But we have adjusted both our, our results from 2014 and 2015 considering one of events. In 2015, it was mainly the phthalic anhydride unit for which an impairment write down was recognized, and three impairment losses in 2015. These three concerned Sharkopol, Hozhov, and one additional unit. So if we take into account these one-off events, our EBITDA is much higher. And the net results after adjustments would stand at 700 27 million PLN. So what were the main drivers for our good performance and the EBITDA growth in 2015? First of all, lower costs of products and merchandise and services sold, mainly due to lower prices of feedstocks, especially gas. Secondly, we had higher volumes of sales, 458 million PLN, which was a major increase, which contributed to our EBITDA. On the other hand, it was offset by lower prices of those products, down 245 million PLN, which was driven by a number of factors. First of all, as we have mentioned before, our chemical segment reported lower prices. And our fertilizer segment was, to a large extent, affected by the so-called market play we had to get involved in in the European market, considering the oversupply of certain products uh, overflowing the Polish market sometimes. So in general, if you analyze all those price trends across all our product groups, then the key products such as ammonium nitrate or nitrate, ammonium nitrate based fertilizers stayed flat in comparison with 2014. However, a number of other products, such as urea, had much lower prices. What we need to also focus on are higher costs of sales. This is one of the one of elements of our market struggle, especially in terms of the costs of transport services. which will allow us to control better the transport of our goods across our markets. We are also looking for other ways, more effective ways, to offer more attractive prices to our customers. Year after year, it is obvious that our company shares our results with with the market, with the customers, especially if there are any problems with direct payments from the European Union, it is always expected from us that the fertilizer market will participate in the margin sharing. 1 billion point 3.15 adjusted by one of events, which would make 
EBITDA much higher is something I need to stress at that point. For a number of years now, the fertilizer segment has been the main driving force behind our EBITDA. It contributed to our EBITDA result in 2015 to a much larger extent than in the previous year. In terms of the plastics segment, the negative EBITDA still gives us a lot of headache. The, sec the first half of the year was, a, was good. However, in the second part of the year, especially from the third quarter on, the negative trends unfortunately canceled or offset the good results from the first half of the year. In terms of chemicals, the chemical segment reported a high increase in terms of EBITDA, up 136%. And as far as the last two segments, the energy and other activities segment, these segments reported downward trends in terms of EBITDA. But we need to remember that these two segments I have just mentioned, they are our non-core business. These are auxiliary segments, support segments for our core activities on which we need to focus on first of, all, first of all. Now, as far as the breakdown into segments are concerned, first of all, agrofertilizers. We reported a 9% increase in segment revenue, especially in terms of sales of compound fertilizers, which reported a 30% increase and now stand at 1.9 billion PLN, and also nitrogen fertilizers. They reported the, for these fertilizers, we reported a 3% increase in terms of sales volume. However, we need to remember that the price trends have not changed in this area since, the, since 2014. As far as grain prices are concerned, which is also a main driver for our cost, for our prices, especially in the first quarter. For yet another year, the winter in Poland has been mild. Therefore, agricultural work, field work, starts earlier across the entire continent. Therefore, farmers focus on purchases on fertilizers much earlier than they used to. All major crops, apart from rapeseed, the volumes stay rather have stayed la rather flat year on year and the volumes the volumes of agro fertilizers compound fertilizers as we said reported a major increase and our nitrogen fertilizers stayed flat in terms of sales volumes We reported, in terms of plastics, we reported a downward trend, down 15%, which is mainly due to prices of our products, which followed a downward trend as well, especially in terms of benzene, because the prices of benzene dropped considerably, which affected the prices of both caprolactam and polyamide. and also compound polyamides. However, in terms of compound polyamide products, but then both the spreads and the price still remained at good levels. As far as polyamide is concerned, the sales went down by 7% and caprolactam sales went down 28%. The 71% increase in EBITDA for the plastic segment is only a mathematical result. So we still have a minus 10 million loss in the plastic segment. A similar situation is observed in the chemicals segment. As far as the value, 
both OXO products report both OXO products and the chemical segment in general went down, especially due to the prices of propylene. As far as urea, technical grade urea is concerned, it reported a slight increase. It inched up by 1% and both melamine and also melamine by 5%. However, titanium white went down by 11%. So the improvement of EBITDA of nearly 200% is again something that we need to consider separately. As far as our assets are concerned, our assets, current assets and non-current assets went up and we also need to emphasize that our financial situation is very stable and very safe, uh, especially net debt and including, and especially if we take into consideration uh, the CAPEX that we, the CAPEX projects that we uh, implemented in the past year. Our costs went down in general by 5%, which was due mainly to lower costs of materials and energy consumption and were driven by lower prices of coal and gas. We had lower depreciation and amortization costs, which are which was connected to the phthalic and hydride unit, and also additional units which will decrease our depreciation amortization costs in the years and months to come. We had higher costs of services related to higher sales, and also higher costs of labor, which which resulted from the group's financial performance. I will now give the floor over to Mr. Marian Rybak to discuss the financial performance of Grupa Azoty Puave. As far as the capital groups is concerned, the Azoty Puave capital group is concerned, I will also mention the revenue, EBITDA and net profit of the entire Azoty Grupa Azoty Puave group. So in terms of revenue, they, so to speak, kept up with our sales in terms of its seasonality. And in 2015, we reported a 3.8 billion PLN in revenue. These included, this, this result was much better, was better, uh, not much better, but uh, better than in 2014. Our EBITDA was, on the other hand, much better. It went up by 200 million PLN versus the previous year, which translated into net consolidated net profit at 448 million PLN in net profit, which is nearly 50% more. That means that our consolidated net profit nearly doubled year on year. As far as the major determinants and factors determining our results are concerned, most definitely lower prices of, of our strategic raw materials and feedstocks are concerned, of, uh, which is one of the factors that was of key importance. However, on the other hand, we had higher costs because we had to consider higher sales volumes. Therefore, selling costs, sales, selling and distribution costs went up. And obviously, in terms of prices, as we have mentioned before, prices were lower than in the previous year. So we need to sell higher volume of products to generate similar revenue from sales year on year. By segment, again, our agro fertilizer, our agro segment was the main segment, a main driver behind our results. 62.8 million PLN was much better than in the previous year in terms of revenue. For chemicals, we reported 121 PLN, million PLN, and the other two segments, energy and other activities, 44 and 20 million PLN, respectively. As far as revenue, is, revenue breakdown is concerned, in terms of volumes, 
You can see a breakdown in the bar chart, in the agrofertilizers. In 2015, we reported 2.4 billion, 2 billion PLN in terms of revenue from sales, mainly from nitrogen fertilizers, phosphate fertilizers, and other goods and services, and merchandise and materials. Our EBITDA stood at 43.1%, and our EBITDA margin at in the agro fertilizer segment stood at 6.2 percentage points percent. This graph also shows us the prices of ammonia nitrate urea and you can see that for ammonium nitrate the price was rather rather flat the urea ammonium nitrate solution reported a downward trend and a largely the same train trend for urea. We reported good production volumes in terms of chemicals for urea and other products and for melamine. However, our caprolactam volume went down. So for melamine, we reported a 5.4% increase for urea, 7.9% increase, and for other goods and services, 15% increase as well. However, our caprolactam volumes went down. Our EBITDA is at 108%. It also went, went down by that amount, and our EBITDA margin went up by 5.8%. And uh, the lower graph shows as the price of melamine and caprolactam. And it is obvious from this graph that melamine prices are rather stable. However, the caprolactam prices are going down. I need to add at that point that the investment, the polyamide e plant, and which is currently in progress, is designed to further process caprolactam into PA6. As far as our statement of financial position is concerned across our group, our capital group, we reported good profitability results, both for EBIT and EBITDA. Our ratios are much higher than in 2014. Our liquidity ratios are also higher, up from 2.4 to 2.8. As far as our debt ratios are concerned, are concerned, our net debt is 680 million. So as you can see, our investments are on the safe side. We have the money to finance our investment projects. As far as cash and cash equivalents are concerned, this graph shows us our performance in this respect in, and the cost structure as well. Our costs by category are shown in, in this graph on the right-hand side. It is clear that we spend most of our costs on natural gas, electricity, and all the remaining costs account for the same percentage, 9% for benzene, coal, and other activities. Thank you very much. And now, Mr. Krzysztof Jawosiński, President of the Management Board of Grupa Zotopolice. I will mention something that I have told you before. We are very happy that our fertilizer business is a driving force. However, if we take a look at our figures, you will see that this was not just bragging on my part, because this graph shows us that our performance is actually very high. 
and very, very good. So first of all, we need to always focus on the fact that we have efficiency costs of efficiency measures. This is something you do not focus on usually because these are certain unpopular activities that we have to take, activities that are targeted at reducing our costs, at maintenance and repairs. This is something that is not mentioned usually when we talk about business, but this is of major importance. And this is one of the drivers because it gives us cost efficiency which improve our performance. We know that previously sales of certain fertilizers were higher than others. I'm talking about phosphate, phosphate fertilizers, uh, fertilizers that are usually more expensive than others. But this has changed. This has not changed because of a decision of farmers themselves. These, this has changed because of our own initiatives. We are educating our farmers and we are making our offer more attractive for them. I would be very happy to show you another slide which would allow you to compare our performance from previous years. But you need to take me by my word looking at this slide. Another thing that you, uh, that we are always talking about, that we, we always mention when we talk about our company, the results show that we used to be dependent on the suppliers of our feedstocks and raw materials. And the suppliers of those feedstocks did not respect us in a way that we were not a major customer for them. So our results in negotiations with those clients, with those suppliers, were not successful. Sometimes we did have better performance, but in general, we would reach, reach a break-even point, but we would not make a lot of profit. But this has changed as well. One of the factors that drive our performance is our African company. It does not generate a lot of profit. It has not generated a lot of profit to date, but we need to mention this activity because the very awareness that we are able to diversify uh, the sources of our feedstocks and raw materials give us an advantage in negotiations with our suppliers. And our expansion, fertilizer expansion, is not very successful. It cannot be called plainly a failure in terms of our expansion in Africa, but it has encountered a lot of barriers so we cannot unfortunately say that we are very successful in that market. This is due to a very different business culture in those countries. I would not like to dwell too much on it, but I need to mention that this element still needs a lot of improvement. This is not something that we can take pride in. However, if we focus on our business in Poland and our contribution to Grupa Azoto in general, for the capital group in general, and in terms of Azoto Pro as well, we have contributed a lot to the good performance. We have mentioned maintenance projects. Right now, we do not pay for maintenance work. We pay for preventing the maintenance work. And this is a very essential matter, and we need to emphasize it. Preventive maintenance is something that 
eliminates a lot of breakdowns. And this has increased our efficiency and also reduced our costs, not only costs related to repairs, but also costs related to our raw materials. Because if we have a breakdown, then we will lose a certain amount of money on raw materials. So we are in a more comfortable position now. In terms of fertilizers, we have also taken one step further because there was a certain problem that was voiced again and again in our discussions. We wanted to produce all the fertilizer products. We believed that if there is a market gap, we will enter that niche and produce 30 types of fertilizers. However, after a certain time, we came into realization that it's much more profitable and much more efficient to produce not 30, but 10 types of fertilizer products. And we have achieved a lot of cost efficiencies due to the fact that we reduced the number of products in our portfolio. Right now, we do not produce all the products. We focus on selected products. And we also managed to encourage our clients to focus on certain products only, certain products of great quality. As far as the breakdown into segments are concerned, I have mentioned that we have a different breakdown at Polite. We are talking about fertilizers and the so-called nitro installations. That is the nitrogen part of our product production, that is urea and ammonia. The nitrogen part of our business has reported a very good performance. We do have a certain offsetting factors for ammonia and urea, however, Compound fertilizer, fertilizers have reported a very good result and a great increase in terms of volumes, which contributed largely to our good financial performance in general. In terms of pigments, pigments is something that we really focus on because pigments is a sign whether the, our results in pigments are a sign whether or not we can perform well as a company in general. And in terms of pigments, we did report certain downward trends. However, we have implemented certain efficiency measures which will translate into higher and better results in 2016. We have implemented a number of measures, not only personal changes, because these are actually easier to implement, but we have also changed our ways and means in terms of investments and operational measures for this segment. We are talking about 300 million PLN per annum, which is not very high, it may seem. However, this element can bring profit. And if not bringing profit, it will not drag down the results of other segments. As far as our financial position is concerned, I think that the slide is self-explanatory. We are implementing our investments as planned. This year, we will launch two major projects. We'll put them into operation, especially in terms of ammonia, which will drive up our cost performance and stabilize our production. As far as costs are concerned, our costs are related mainly to our higher production volumes, which naturally translated into higher costs. Higher volumes always translate into higher costs, and this is 
pretty obvious. And as a recap, uh, on a more personal note from me, as a president of the management board of my company for the past five years, I think that we can take pride in our performance over the past several years, both in terms of EBITDA, net profit or EBIT, our operational performance. It is obvious that we have improved our performance and also the price, the price of our stock on the market, on the stock market. As far as our capex is concerned, this is something that we also need to mention. It shows our spending, and it shows that we still do have ideas how to improve and how to invest in our company. I'm not only talking about the energy sector. I am talking about all other ideas that we have and especially also in terms of our environmental projects, which are mandatory so that we comply with all the environmental environments. For instance, in terms of the emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. So both in terms of Polica and the entire capital group, Azoty, Grupa Azoty, this is something we need to talk about because we need to focus on reduction of our emissions and maybe manage or use our potential and efficiency potential in that area. Coming back to Mr. Adam Leszkiewicz, Grupa Azoty Kędzierzyn, the Ammonia project at ZAK was one of the major investment projects. We spent 33 million PLN on that project, and the effects will translate into nearly 9 million PLN, which should be doubled in 2016. As far as our financial performance in 2015 is concerned, in general, we can say that our revenue went down, but our operational performance went up. First of all, we had one of the longest ever maintenance shutdowns. 45 days, we had a breakdown of our unit, gas synthesis unit. Therefore, our production capacity at OXO, in the OXO segment, was much lower. On the other hand, market processes as such determined our performance. The falling price of crude oil affected propylene production and propylene sales in general. So the customers would switch from long-term contracts into spot purchases. However, our net profit and our EBITDA were better year on year. We reported a 15.3 million, 15.3 percent increase in EBITDA, and a eight, an 8.6 percent increase in net profit, respectively, 223 and 124 million PLN. As far as OXO is concerned the OXO segment. Across the year, our EBITDA is higher year on year and also in the very last quarter of the year. We did not achieve a positive EBITDA last year. However, the first several months of this year reported a positive EBITDA. We need to also mention that we had to recognize an impairment loss on the phthalic anhydride unit, which also affected our revenue. 60% of our revenue are the fertilizers, and oxo alcohols amount account for 34%. A couple of more, a couple of words about oxo alcohols. We had an oversupply of products, 
and also as econ economic slowdown in China resulted in lower sales volumes in China, which means that certain amounts of products came to Poland instead of going to the Chinese market. These products came from Southeast Asia, Asia in general, and Russia. And also we had certain other projects. We have certain other projects in the pipeline, mainly phthalate, non-phthalate ester proje products. We are working on those technologies and we are moving from offering products only towards a model in which we offer not only the products, but also certain other services to our customers. Looking at our performance in general, we improved all our ratios, both in terms of profitability, liquidity, and debt. Our EBIT margin was at 8.1% versus 8% in our strategy. Our return on capital employed and return on equity are also high, higher than in the previous year. And the same for our debt ratio. This all shows us the growth of the value of our company. Thank you very much. As a recap, we will move on to obviously the question and answer session. But as a recap, I would also like to mention the structure of EBITDA in the parent company. We reported an improvement in the fertilizer segment in terms of EBITDA. We did not manage to improve our EBITDA in the plastics segment. However, we reported a 0 0.15 million EBITDA in EBITDA. And in terms of other segments and the parent company, uh, our results state flat. Chemical companies at a stock exchange. This is something we can compare to mountain climbing. Sometimes when you climb a mountain, you are happy to climb a mountain and then you look around and you see other peaks around you which have to be climbed still. However, we reported a record-breaking stock price at 113 PLN in December, the 8th of December. If we compare it to the minimum amounts of our stock price, of, of the minimum levels, uh, which we recorded a couple of years ago, this is something we can compare to a very high mountain that we have climbed. And also, maximum capitalization of our company, record-breaking. So this is something we need to thank you for as well. Uh, this is a result of a good cooperation between our company, our group, and our investors. This is all in terms of our presentation. Now, if you have any questions, please go ahead. You may ask any questions. If there is nobody who can feel who feels comfortable enough to ask a question now you are warmly invited to talk to us during the lunch there are no questions so thank you very much for attending today's presentation thank i would like to thank all our investors i would like to thank all our viewers who are watching and listening to us live on the internet, we feel you are out there. So thank you very much and I hope we will see and listen and hear each other in May in the next presentation of our results. Thank you very much. Oh, one more thing. Uh, the unofficial meetings can we can continue the, our, our conversations and unofficial meetings downstairs at lunch. 
they tell me it, it is downstairs. Thank you very much.